I'm Jerika Duncan in for Anne Marie Green. It's been so good having you here. Thank you. Yeah, you got one more day with me, right? One more day. All right, all right. I'm going to think about today and just be happy for today, Jerika that's Duncan. That's all we got. Uh, that's all we got. I'm Vladimir Tutit. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. The Justice Department is looking at the actions of former President Donald Trump in the run-up to the assault on the Capitol. We're going to tell you what we know about the investigation. All eyes are on the Federal Reserve today as another potential interest rate hike looms. We'll explain what it could mean for consumers. Firefighters are getting a handle on flames burning near Yosemite National Park. We'll have the very latest on, the California, on California's largest fire this year. Plus, Russia is working to strengthen its relations in Africa following the Ukrainian invasion. We'll take a look at the state of Putin's influence and how other world leaders are responding. And an Indiana doctor at the center of the abortion rights debate speaks out in a new interview that you will only see on CBS News. Unfortunately, sexual assault in children is not uncommon. I'm not the only provider who has taken care of young children needing abortion care. It's a very powerful interview that she does with Nora, uh, yeah. where she talks about uh, not only some of the threats that have been levied against her, but some of the trials and tribulations of women now who are forced to seek medical care in other mm -hmm. states. Because and, it's not so black and white. Right. And I, I've seen a lot of clips of people uh, that have went viral who've had instances where their life was in jeopardy and they had a medically um, induced abortion. So um, yeah, yeah, she it's a very and she controversial gives, topic, obviously, but yeah. I look forward to hearing more. And she gives Nora a really good example of the controversy in the debate mm -hmm. as she sees it. So we're looking yeah. forward to that. We'll play it for you a little bit later. Uh, in the show. But for now, let's begin here. The Justice Department is zeroing in on allies of former President Trump as part of its criminal probe into the January 6th attack. CBS News has learned that prosecutors have been asking questions about Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. This news was first reported by The Washington Post. Yesterday, former president, the former president continued to push those false election fraud